In 1972, ethologist John B. Calhoun created an ambitious utopia for mice called Universe 25. Every aspect of this model was meticulously designed to cater to the well-being of its rodent residents. This was not Calhoun's first experiment. He had been creating similar environments for rodents since the 1940s, consistently observing that overpopulation led to social collapse. Universe 25 was a carefully controlled environment, free of predators and filled with abundant food, water, and nesting material. The temperature was kept stable, and the space was regularly cleaned, creating what seemed like a paradise for mice. On day one, four pairs of healthy mice from the National Institutes of Health's elite breeding colony were introduced to this utopia. Initially, the mice thrived. They reproduced rapidly, doubling their population every 55 days. By day 315, more than 600 mice inhabited Universe 25. However, as the population grew, the social structure began to break down. Young mice found themselves in a crowded world with few meaningful social roles. Males faced constant competition for territory, leading many to give up. Social bonds deteriorated. Female mice retreated to isolated nests, while a group Calhoun termed the beautiful ones stopped seeking mates and fighting altogether. Instead, they spent their time eating, sleeping, and grooming, lost in narcissistic behavior. Meanwhile, cannibalism, asexuality, and violence became rampant, marking the collapse of mouse society. By day 560, the population had peaked at 2 my 200 mice. After this point, births became rare, and few young mice survived. By day 600, reproduction had nearly ceased, setting the colony on an irreversible path to extinction. The last mouse was born on day 920, and the final mouse died on May 23, 1973, nearly five years after the experiment began. Calhoun described this as two deaths. First, the death of their spirit and society, then the death of their physical bodies. Calhoun's earlier experiments had shown similar results. Overpopulation led to explosive violence and hypersexual activity, followed by asexuality, self-destruction, and extinction. In his influential paper, Population Density and Social Pathology, he concluded that when the number of individuals capable of filling social roles greatly exceeds the number of such roles, violence and disruption inevitably follow. He called this phenomenon the behavioral sink. This research sparked a debate among social scientists, some of whom advocated for population control to avoid similar outcomes in human societies. However, Calhoun was more optimistic about humanity's future. He believed that as physical space declines, we can expand our conceptual space through ideas and technology. Later in his career, Calhoun focused on creating environments that minimized the negative effects of overcrowding, exploring possible solutions to the challenges he had observed. What do you think? Is overcrowding a danger for mankind, or is it unique to rodents? How can we protect the human psyche from similar collapse? Avoiding eye contact in crowded places might be one strategy, but is it enough? To learn more about Universe 25 and its cultural impact, Check out the paper by Edmund Ramsden and John Adams, linked in the description below. Subscribe for more videos like this. See you in next video.